Since the dawn of modern man, we have always been fascinated by mystery and obsessive in our attempts to understand the very fabric of the universe. In our evolutionary past, it was beneficial for us to attribute intention to any action which we saw. This allowed us to develop the complex social structures which we still enjoy today, as well as giving us better hunting techniques as we could second guess the behaviour of any animal in which we were hunting. So it was only natural for us to assign intention to that which was unknown. This concept developed into the modern notion of monotheistic god which remains with us today. However, as science progressed, the notion of intention was rendered obsolete. Newton showed us that mechanics occurs through mindless processes. Darwin showed us that design can arise out of chaos. And the popular belief is that the very essence of the soul can be attributed to merely functional representations of mindless calculations. Modern science has negated the necessity for a god, but can never negate the possibility that there is, in fact, a god. So as our science and technology have progressed, we come any closer to answering perhaps one of the most important, if not the most important, metaphysical and philosophical questions known to mankind in our entire human history. Moore's law has shown us that technology increases at an exponential rate, and hopes for a unified theory seem more optimistic than ever. In the foreseeable future, it is conceivable that we will have a complete unified theory which will explain the very fabric of the universe in its entirety. It is also conceivable that our artificial intelligence will grow to a level where it will be able to represent the very fabric of the universe in some sort of a simulation in order that we might better understand these questions. Why are we here? What was there at the beginning of time? Is our theory complete? Can we know the universe in sufficient enough detail to understand it? So if our scientific optimism holds true, and we were in fact able to simulate a universe in order to answer these most fundamental of questions, how could we be sure that we weren't in fact living in a simulation of another universe? Well, we couldn't. And what possible reason would we have to believe that we were living in such a simulation? And what possible bearing does this have on the ultimate question of God? Well firstly, this simulation, if it is such, is hosted in an artificial intelligence which transcends our space and time. It is omnipresent, it is omnipotent, it is omniscient. Therefore, it satisfies the criteria of God. Moreover, if it encompasses modern AI techniques which we're using today, it could indeed be self-creating. And if we accept the Anthropic Principle, which was originally a theory to debunk God, we can see some very eerie conclusions once we apply the principle of blind indifference. If all possible universes exist, then some universes will be far more likely to produce simulations of other universes, and those simulations could also replicate themselves, because we can also apply the godless principle of Darwinian evolution to this. Indeed, every universe has only one of two possibilities, either it is insufficiently complex and does not create any simulations. It is complex enough to create simulations, but does not wish to. Or, in fact, it creates other simulations. And once we accept the infinite array of possible universes, then it is more than likely we are in fact living in a simulated universe. And in fact, we have a God.